Hey everybody, this is Chelsea from Little Mountain Ranch Homestead, and today we finished the greenhouse. Okay, this has been a serious project, way, way bigger than we had planned. We planned to do just a little tiny greenhouse at the beginning and as we went along it just kept which seems to be a theme with us just kind of kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and now it's it's fantastic it far surpasses anything that I had anticipated so this video turned out to be just just with how to get to how we actually got to the point of this finished building uh, was way way longer than I was expecting it because it actually took us eight days rather than the three we thought it was gonna take so what I'm gonna do is put out a third video that's gonna be an actual uh, tour and show you all the little things that we've done to it uh, and explain like a cost breakdown of what it cost us in the end, how much time it really took us as far as hours and that sort of thing. So that'll be, I'm hoping to have that out on Wednesday. Today is Sunday, Mother's Day. So yeah, by Wednesday we'll have that third video to so that you can actually see the whole entire finished product. But it looks fantastic, so much better than I than I thought. I'm. It's an awesome Mother's Day present. So enjoy the how we got to this point a uh, little bit of this video and um, I did I did end up having to do a ton of time lapses. I'm really sorry about that. I'm hoping that that in the future I can just film better so I don't have to do so many but it's such a learning curve so lots of time lapses with some little you know catchy music. So <laughs> anyway hope you enjoy it. So today Dan is putting the roof on the greenhouse and or the framing part anyway and then I'm gonna come in as soon as it stops raining I don't know if you can see it's rather dismal yes there's water on my there we go <laughs> raindrop on my lens but it's a bit rainy today but it is supposed to stop this afternoon so I'm gonna come in after Dan's finished doing this and paint it so the color we picked is kind of over there you can see on that bin it's kind of a sagey green color like that and there's two reasons for doing that. The first is obviously for aesthetics, just because it's going to look prettier. But the other is because inside of a greenhouse, all this wood is exposed on the inside and it is exposed to a lot of humidity. So it's also just a way to protect it. But mostly it's just because it's going to look nice when it's done. So how much longer do you think that's going to take, hun? Where you can it? Yeah. A couple hours. A couple hours? And then after this is done and we've got the paint on, I'll bring this over and show you guys what we're going to be doing on the outside. So one must ask themselves, why do you wear gloves when you end up like this anyway? I'm notoriously the most messy painter on the planet and today is no different. So I think I should just ditch the gloves and accept that I'm going to be covered head to foot in paint and call it a day. So today we are going to be putting on the siding. I'm a little bit distracted and nervous right now because my sister from, come over here sister, from the Greywood homestead, Jen. Hi. Right there, she's here to visit me today. <laughs> so I'm actually not working on this project. Dan is the man for this job. He's gonna be putting up the siding. So Dan's gonna get this on. You guys can watch him work. And uh, I will touch base with you as soon as we have all this up. Thanks everybody. <laughs> so we're just about, uh, we, huh? Dan is <laughs> just about done the first wall. I, on the other hand, am enjoying the company of my sister. So, <laughs> so yeah, close, really close. <laughs> so we are on a mission today, come hell or high water, to finish this greenhouse. We've had a couple of things kind of hold us up as far as being able to get it done in the time that we had set for ourselves. So it's been a week, I think it's been about a week since we um, first started building it. So um, the first thing is just the weather. We've had crazy weather. It's been pouring rain and then sunny and pouring rain and then sunny. So that's held us up a little bit. And then the next thing that held us up was this siding here. It's 
called PAL roof siding, this stuff. This is what we decided to use on the greenhouse. And we chose it because of the recommendation of a guy at the hardware store who said that this was the stuff, it's much less expensive than the higher end stuff, this stuff, Tough Tex. So it's uh, less expensive. This stuff was, how much was this stuff? 20, yeah, so this was $22.99 a sheet. And then this stuff was 33. So it was about 10 bucks more a sheet. So that's pretty substantial for us. So we just decided, okay, we knew this stuff didn't have a lifetime warranty. It had a five year warranty. So we thought, well, we'll go with this. It's a little bit um, less durable, but it was affordable. So we thought, okay, well, we'll go with this. So Dan went onto the website to find out how to cut this stuff. So the PAL roof stuff. And um, because we needed to cut some of the sheets for the roof. And he, when he went on the website, he was reading through the forums to find out different, different um, ideas for ways that he could cut it. And on that forum, somebody had commented about how this product was not to be used for greenhouses because it doesn't withstand the high heat of a greenhouse. So we had already bought it all because the guy at the hardware store said that this stuff they'd been recommending for a long time and it was UV protected. That was something that we needed and, um, and that it was, you know, good, a good sort of lower end of this hard type of stuff of plastic. And we wanted this hard type of plastic for our greenhouse because we live in an area where there's a high snow load. And we also didn't want to be replacing it again um, in a couple of years. We wanted something that was going to last for a long time. So that's why we chose to go with the hard stuff. So back to the forum. So he looked up the, what the company actually says about this stuff. And they say that it is not it, it does not work for high temperatures because of the flood because it flexes because it can actually crack so we had to wait a couple of days to, to do a whole bunch of research on it we went back to the place that we bought it from and he said he'd been selling it to customers for 14 years and they'd never had an issue with it so we decided that what we would do because we had already actually had it on one side of the building is to make sure that the screw holes were big enough, bigger than the actual screws, um, or the hole that the screw was gonna go in was actually bigger than the screw itself so that there was room for it to move. And, um, and then put that on the side and then go and spend the bigger bucks and buy the high quality stuff for the actual roof itself. So what we went with was Tough Tex, this stuff, um, polycarbonate. So this has a lifetime warranty. It's good for all temperatures. They still recommend to make sure your screw holes are a little bit bigger so there's room for it to move, but it's specifically designed to withstand the high temperatures, <laughs> Cypress, just um, withstand the high temperatures of a greenhouse. So this we're gonna be putting on the roof. This we're gonna be putting on the walls and hope that it holds up for long enough to make it worth our while. Um, and then eventually as we go along, if this doesn't hold up really well, then every, every month or so we'll buy a couple of sheets of the more expensive stuff and then just change it over as time passes. So that's where we're at with the greenhouse right now. Dan is just cutting the, he actually, um, somebody had recommended to him to put all of the sheets together, this stuff, and use, what kind of blade was that? A zip disc. A zip disc to cut it all at once so that it was a clean line. And it actually worked out really well. You can see this is the top sheet that was cut. So it has a bunch of this plastic, but the on only one of the sheets had this and it can just break off. And the rest of them, he was able to pull, pull apart. And he's just gonna use the rougher edge. That'll be the one that goes up under the peak, the ridge cap that he's putting on the greenhouse anyway. So that doesn't really matter. So that worked out really well. So annoying. Okay, so dad is up on the roof and he's putting on the ridge cap. You can see him up, up, oh, oh, there he is up there. Hopefully not going to fall off. <laughs> no, for real, dad, don't fall. Ah, they're completely freaking me out. Okay, there. I really hope that's centered. It doesn't look centered, but. I think it's centered enough. 
<laughs> me and building I'm like yeah that looks like it's centered enough and it'll be completely completely off like <laughs> it's not half an inch off <laughs> okay let's go see how is it everybody is it better tell us yeah um I thought it looked good the first time so yep that looks great okay. so we have half of the roof on or more than half the roof on more than half I guess about two-thirds of it done one of the sides done and we've just been battling with the rain you can look at the sky see all the storm clouds basically all the way around us little bits of blue sky up there a big storm over there and then if we look over this way you can see the storm up in the sky over there so that's sort of what we've been battling with right now so we are in the shop building the frame for the door and for what will be the vents in the roof of the here there's hail on the roof so we came out here early this morning when it seemed that we might have some sun today and the, the one of the things about this area and something that we're kind of famous for is that if you don't like the weather just wait five minutes that's kind of the way it is so we're holding out hope that that's gonna hold true today and we're gonna end up with some Sun because we need to finish this it's just and it's kind of been a little bit of a comedy of errors too because we ran out of screws yesterday we phoned everywhere this is one of the disadvantages of living where we live and then by a small town that just doesn't have a lot of amenities we phoned four different places for screws because we needed these specific kind of screws um, with little rubber gaskets on them and we needed them to be short so they weren't going to stick through the side so we finally found a roofing company that had some. So we drove all the way into town, we got there, and he only had a few. He felt terrible about it, so he gave us a bunch of ones. Dan's putting on the door in the back. Um, so we gave him some ones that were longer. So we've ended up having, we just, we just went forget it and we're just gonna use them. So what happened in using them is this is some of them are sticking out. So what we're gonna do about that is just grind them off because we've just decided we just gotta get this done. So we've got the siding on the roof. We have cap on the roof. I think it's called roofing when it's on the roof. Oh, I I've been informed. <laughs> this is so bad that it's called roofing when it's on the roof, not siding. So, so yeah. Uh, this is one of the things I've realized about doing YouTube is that when it comes to knowing the names of specific things, I, I just don't, especially when it comes to building materials. I think I know more than I do, it turns out. So <laughs> anyway, the roofing is on the roof. The siding is on the sides on two of the walls. We've got one of the vents up over, let's see, there's farmer, or actually it's builder down today. Up there we have one of the vents. So we're gonna put one in each side with a little pulley so that it'll open just so we can get a cross breeze so it doesn't get too hot and um, 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 what else are we doing right now what else are we doing <laughs> door door and then putting on the siding on the front and the back and then um, hopefully I'll be able to move my plants in here today I have I have I've just I've started to give up hope that I'll be <laughs> by tomorrow, which is Mother's Day, so that would be kind of perfect. Um, normally on Mother's Day, I get garden stuff or flowers or things like that, because I love I love doing um, flower gardening in, in oh, only not in large scale, but just like in pots and stuff, just make the house look nice. So this will be apropos if we end up getting this actually finished today. So here's hoping.
Thanks for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed that little glimpse into what it took to put up this building. And I hope that you tune in again in three days on Wednesday to be able to get a tour of the whole entire thing. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.